Hello and welcome to the group exhibit of hydrogen and fuel cells at the Hanover Messe 2012. We have a very special session for you right now. I'm joined here by Kai Nikiforo, Tommy Tapio Putainin, and uh, they are from the Finnish Pavilion. And we'd like to invite you now to join us while we go to Finland, which is just over there. <laughs> so if you would like to all get up and follow us, we have something very special to show you over there. <laughs> no, toivottavasti joku tulee. Sehän riittää. If you share these okay. between you, just turn them on. Yep. Hello? Yeah, they're working. Wait for everybody to show up. Great! So, welcome everybody in Finland, <laughs> the Finnish pavilion. Can you hear us? Does it sound good? Yeah? Well, first of all, um, Maybe you could each uh, introduce yourselves and which yeah. um, collaboration you're fa from. <laughs> okay, hello everyone. Uh, I'm Tapio Poutianen from uh, Tekes Fusel program and I work as uh, the program deputy coordinator. And uh, after a while I will tell you more about uh, the Tekes Fusel program and uh, demo 2013. Thank you. Hello, my name is Kaini Kiforov and I work at VTT where I do PEM fusel system level research. Hello, my name is Tomi Ahmasalo. I'm coming from uh, Arctic Power and uh, Rovaniemi Applied Science of uh, School, and I'm working project coordinator there. Thank you very much. So, let's begin with you. You are from Tekes Fusel Program. Yes, Tell yes. Tell us a bit more about that. Well, uh, Tekes Fusel Program is a uh, Finnish uh, fusel program. Uh, facilitating the development of uh, successful fuel cell technologies in Finland. Um, basically, the program started in 2007 and will uh, run until the end of 2013. And uh, what we do, we provide a platform for all the key players in uh, Finnish fuel cell uh, industry to come together. And, uh, and the program is, uh, the total volume is 100 million euros, of which 70 million has already been used. And, uh, Tekes provides uh, half of the funding for the projects. It's a research project, project and company project. Because you're working on one very special project at the moment, the demo um, 2013 in the harbor environment. Yes, uh, demo 2013 is um, a breakthrough project in uh, new port facilities in Wasari Harbor. And uh, the idea is to demonstrate the results of the Tekes Fusel program. So uh, the Wasari Harbor is a new and energy efficient harbor and it's a really good place to show this kind of a big demonstration because uh, there is, first of all, this uh, harbor is located within the city so there is strict, strict um, emission and noise uh, limits so fuel cell technologies there is uh, really... But what is the goal uh, of the project? Well, the goal of the project is to show a solid approach for, uh, you know, clean and uh, energy efficient solutions, fuel cells and hydrogen. And uh, applications will uh, be uh, combined heat and power, material handling and uh, backup power for uh, teleoperator base station and so forth. And what happens after 2013? Well, of course, the applications will run a half year period, uh, the later, latter part of 2013. and. Uh, then the applications, of course, depending on the project and the, the harbor management, like uh, I think they will uh, stay on there and still uh, produce clean energy afterwards. Okay, thank you very much. Does anyone have any, any questions um, about the Tekes fuel cell program? Because then we'll move on to um, VTT and talk to Kai. You can yeah. tell us all about um, VTT. 
uh, well, in short, BDT is a multi-technological research organization that is, we do a lot of other things besides fuel cells. Uh, our mission is to bring more value to your product by uh, providing services that you don't have resource to, resources to do, uh, don't have uh, know-how to do, or just don't want to do because maybe higher risk. But you focus on the PEM um, yeah. fuel cell. What is your research there? Uh, <coughs> the PEM fuel cell system level research has been has been going on since 2004, and the past projects has been focusing mostly on working machine applications and how to find an optimal solutions on the system level. Currently we are launching a, a new project which focuses on building a 50 kilowatt PEM fuel cell power plant in Aetsa, which uses uh, byproduct hydrogen from a sodium chlorate plant as the fuel. Uh, let's see. Uh, the plant will be built mainly using commercial components and the target is to have the plant up and running for at least 5,000 hours. Besides, uh, besides uh, building the plant, we are doing system level modeling, uh, balance of plant component testing and hydrogen quality studies in the project. And these hydrogen quality studies are also studied in another project, uh, which is an EU project named HiQ, because this is a very relevant question when it comes to system level design. Uh, third yeah. project we are working on is, is this EASLED the project. The EASLED, yes. And uh, I think Tommy here is going to tell, tell us about it more. Yes, because um, this is Arctic Power is um, working on the Eastled. Yeah, maybe um, you could introduce yourself and uh, <coughs> tell us a bit more about this. Um. <coughs> okay, yeah. My name is Tomi Ahmosalo and uh, I come from Rovaniemi. We have still one meter snow there, so we can still drive the snowmobiles. But uh, anyhow, we are working for the Eastled project, cooperating, of course, with VTT and also the only European... Uh, Snowmobile factory, PRP is based in Rovaniemi, so we have real good cooperation there and it's going on, finally. And what is um, Arctic Power, what do you focus, um, what is your, your goal? Of yeah, the Arctic Power is a kind of a technical high school or laboratory and we are focusing for the cold testing for the fuel cells and uh, electric vehicles. We have the cold chamber there. We can drive also a full car inside there in the cold conditions. So that's kind of a laboratory where we are working. So what have the, how have the results been so far on the research of the fuel cell in the cold <coughs> Arctic conditions? Uh, it's uh, challenging. It's a lot of challenge to run the fuel cells in the cold, but uh, we are learning all the time new things for those. Yeah, tell us in general what is happening in northern Finland um, in the hydrogen field. Oh, right now there's uh, quite a lot of activities in the uh, north part of Finland. There's a lot of uh, car testing as uh, a lot of people know. And right now the only Finnish uh, fuel cell uh, refueling station with 700 bars is based in Rovaniemi in Arctic Driving Center. And they are ready to do also the uh, fuel cell testing for the cars and we can refuel the 700 bars right there. Okay, and what is the plan with the Eastled? Who is this designed for and built for? Yeah, <coughs> the Eastlet project is uh, designed and based. There's a lot of tourist business in the Rovaniemi area, <coughs> and uh, all those companies like to go more green and green. And uh, the idea came first: we build up the electric basic basic electric snowmobile. Now we add the fuel cell to make a range extender for the electric snowmobile. And uh, this is kind of the research project. We try to find out what we can do, how this works. Can we use those and how they work in the cold with the snow? So it's a real, real good project and it's, it looks real great. 
it really does. Maybe you can talk us through the different um, systems that are on board. <coughs> yeah, of course. There's a basically what we have done. We haven't built the whole snowmobile. We take the normal snowmobile, take the normal engine out there, rebuild the engine system and uh, drive same. Small compact packets, easy to install for the snowmobile. The batteries is under the seat, where the normal is the fuel tank. And um, base of the engine there is a hydrogen bottles and of course the fuel cell. And basically it's real compact packets and it gives us a lot of uh, new ideas how you can build a snowmobile because you can put those components in different places than normal snowmobile. Is weight an issue? Of course the weight is a little bit issue but right now the how we have developed it, it's the same weight of the snowmobile than it's normal uh, gas, uh, the fuel powered. So when do you have a full tank of fuel, we are now in the same weight. So we haven't extended the weight. Uh, and what is the range? Right now we can run 60 kilometers with one charge. And when we have the fuel cells, we can add probably 20 kilometers for that. And this one is already functioning? It's yeah, functioning. This, is, yeah. this is running running vehicle I can start it and it takes few seconds when it's check all the things and we can drive it we can drive it now yeah I can I can turn it running so just a few seconds we need some snow anyone <laughs> yeah Any in snow? home we have <laughs> please you raise your hand if you have a question Wow, fantastic. Have you driven it yourself? Yeah, actually, yesterday morning was the last test session when I was in the laboratory, so we can drive it. That's great. And, and um, you were both also involved in this project? Uh, well, uh, yeah, well, the project is uh, financed also under TECAS fuel cell program, so it, yeah, TECAS is involved in the project also. And have you driven it? Uh, no, no, I have not. <laughs> Are you going to? Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> so, any questions anyone has? I think this is one of the coolest things at the exhibit. Yes. It's very nice that you brought it along. Thank you. Um, do you have any more um, <laughs> no. wishes for the Mesa this week that you want to share with the public? Any messages? Uh, you want it's to invite people to your booth to talk about specific yeah. projects? It's yeah. <coughs> yeah, it's. Uh, I like to say welcome everybody to ask questions of snowmobiles or the Eastlet project. I'm ready here to answer a lot of questions. Great. Well, then, thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. And um, well, the the interviews will continue back at, at the forum. Um, next, we have Hydrogenics. The managing director, Philip Smith, will be talking about the latest technology for electrolysis. So, um, see you back over um, at the forum. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.